Welcome to this video where I will be describing how to disable and enable a game object with the click of a button, whether the game object is enabled to begin with, or even if the game object begins as disabled, we can do the same thing. So let's get started. To start off, we need to create our button and the object we want to be disabled or enabled. If you haven't already, make sure to create a canvas. You can do that by right clicking, going down to UI, selecting canvas. I've already done so. So I'm gonna click on canvas, right click, UI, button. Make sure you click on canvas first and that way the button is an object of the canvas. So it's inside. If it's not, then you might run into some problems. Button, it's all good. Now we need to create our object. So I'm just going to create a sprite, a square, let's say. I can drag that into our hierarchy and a square is created. Now the square is currently active and that's why you can see it. And it's active and this is the hierarchy, hierarchy. And we can in the inspector, enable and disable. However, we want to use our click of a button eventually to be able to do that. I've already created a script that's going to allow me to do that. If you haven't already, right click again, create C sharp script. I'm going to open this up. First, we are going to create a public game object square. And this is going to be assigned to this square. And whatever we do to square here is going to happen to that square in our scene. Now we're going to create a public void. So we're creating a method for what happens when the button is clicked. Make sure this is public or you will not be able to find it later. So public void when button clicked. This is the name I chose. Uh, you can use whatever name you'd like. And this is what's going to happen once the button is clicked. So if the square is active in the hierarchy, so if it, that's true, so right now it is true, Square dot set active false. So we're going to make it false. Else, so if it's not true, so if this equals false, then we're going to set it equal to true. I'm just going to save my script. And then we're going to come back to Unity. I'm going to attach this script to the canvas. Um, you can attach it to the button if you'd like to. I personally like to attach it to the canvas. So here we have it. All right, so as you can see, we have a square. So we're gonna assign this to this square. You can drag it just like that, or you can click this little dot and select square. Now we go to our button. And so here is what's gonna happen once the button is clicked. So on click, currently the list is empty, so we have to add and now it says an object. We just added our script to the canvas. If you did it to the button, so first we're going to scene. So I would select canvas. If you added it to this button, you'd click button. So we add canvas, no function. Now we need to choose what we want from the canvas to happen. We're gonna go down. So this is the name of our script as seen over here, disable or enable object. So if we hover over that, then we can see one button is clicked. So that was the method we created before. Now, all we have to do, we click play. When the button is hit once or for the first time, our object isn't there. And again, it's there, not there. And also, let's say we start off with the square not being there. This script will still work. And now the first time we click the button, the square will appear and then disappear, appear, disappear. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have learned something that you can implement into your own project.